Jack is not your average dock ranger. And at only 40 centimetres tall, he's also one of the smallest. But this four-legged, dedicated team member is absolutely crucial in ridding this country of rats. May I introduce to you Jack the Ratter. Jack's job in dock. Um, he's our quarantine tool um, for the offshore islands in Harrick area. Um, the Mercury Island Group and the Alderman Island Group are rodent free and we intend to keep them that way. And so he's one of the tools that we use to make sure that no rodents have come ashore on any of those islands. Um, we go out there every six months and um, go around each and every one of those islands just to, to make sure that they're rodent free. Jack and I are part of the department's National Predator Dog Program and for Jack to be able to go out onto those islands, um, both he and I need to go through a certification process that we both must pass, which is basic obedience and um, under, so he's under good control and all that sort of thing. And then you've got to prove that you can actually hunt the target species and hunt the target species in amongst non-targets. So it's absolutely critical that they're target specific. There's only two certified rodent dogs in the country. Um, Miriam Ritchie from Whangarei is the other person with a certified rodent dog. Rats, to trap them or poison them, you've got to entice them to take bait or entice them into a, into a trap or something. Whereas wherever a rat goes, he's leaving a scent trail. And by using the dog, we're exploiting that scent trail. An example is Morte Tapiri Island off Coromandel, where our standard detection devices being tracking tunnels and uh, bait stations and traps had not detected that there were actually rats on the island. We took the dog out there and suddenly he's, he's interested and for whatever reason those rats weren't showing any interest in the tracking tunnels or traps but the dog told us there were rats there. Where is it mate? Where is it? Where have you got? Where have you got? Yep, that's his rat whistle. Wow. Jack's been a ticket for me to some really, really special places, and um, it's a real privilege. And yeah, it's, it's my little dog that takes me there. Yeah. There's nowhere a bird or insect could nest that a, rat can't, a ship rat can't get to. They're the ultimate climber. Um, you know, the, the smallest twigs out on, the, on, out on a branch where the smallest bird might put its nest, a rat can get to and they can build up into big numbers and they can just like big vacuum cleaners in the forest. Yep. Rat eradication is a really big deal to Doc when it comes to the conservation of our native wildlife. And Jack, well he's one hard-working little canine ranger who's determined not to let things slip on his watch. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Good man.